is ABC 7 News at 11. Breaking news at BART. Breaking news in the East Bay. We do have those live pictures of a BART train. The fire appears to be in a nearby substation. You can see people being evacuated from a train. Whether it's a substation fire. There are no reports of any injuries to BART passengers right now. That forces the evacuation of a train. We're seeing more and more reports of mountain lion sightings these days. Or something as crazy as a mountain lion sighting near the tracks. The mountain lions were reported um, back here behind this fence, sunning themselves. My job is to race to the scene to do media interviews. Linton Johnson, chief spokesperson for BART, is with us right now. Linton, what can you tell us? What happened? Well, we're not sure why this started. There's, as you can see, the people here are trying to determine that right now. 117 stuck at San Leandro. While well, my backup, Jim Allison, races to BART Central Control. Both our jobs are to work the phones so people in the media... <laughs> Like NBC 11 assignment editor Joey Tamikin, get up to the minute, accurate information instantly. The pager that Bart has given us has made my job a little bit easier in the sense that the pager will go off while I'm doing a thousand other things on the side and it'll draw my attention to something happening over at Bart. Last year we went door to door handing out dozens of pagers to each of the major news outlets and whenever there's something as serious as a major service disruption or as simple as an all out search for a possible mountain lion under our tracks, we use our Blackberries or the desktop in Central to send a text message to those pagers alerting the news media to call a special media voicemail line we've set up. The voicemail line gives the who, what, when and where of the incident and most importantly, We'll make an effort to update the media voicemail line on the quarter hour. The next update will be at 1230. We manage expectations by telling them when the next update will be. Apparently no mountain lion. It makes my job easier because the pager goes off, tells me what's happening, and then I can call the media line every 15 minutes for an update. I was actually really impressed when Bart came by and gave us a pager. That was something I felt on the cutting edge of technology to be even reaching out to us and giving us these incident pagers, which I'd never heard of any agency doing. Before we had the incident pager and the media voicemail system, reporters constantly hounded those inside Central during breaking news situations to get the latest information. Now with the system in place, they simply call the voicemail line for instant up to the minute updates. It provides us the ability to hand over the individuals to the media person and allows us to focus on what we do. Our next step is to use the web to communicate with the media. We've just launched BART TV where our customers can go to watch news about BART. So when news breaks, we plan to have a BART photographer at the scene recording the news conferences and within minutes putting those news conferences unedited on the BART website so both the public and the writers in the newsroom can see and hear what the reporters out in the field saw and heard. You see more Oakland firefighters arriving on the scene. 